Good morning. Good morning. So we wanted to have a little chat today. You know, <clears> sometimes, <throat> well, a lot of the time. A lot of times. It's something that we hear all the time, all the time. I'm fine during the day, but when I come home, I go mad and eat all kinds of all the bad <laughs> stuff that I've been trying to avoid all day at night. And, you know, sometimes you wonder, well, why does this happen? Why is it that it's no problems to stick to your plan during the day? And yet when you come home in the evenings, you just want to eat everything all around yourself. So one of the things that we know is that for so many people they are focused on, you know, keeping their calories lower, they're focused on cutting down on fat, um, and that's all very well. But what sometimes happens then is, you know, you end up that you just don't really have very much. Maybe you have a light lunch. What's a light lunch? A light lunch. A light I mean, lunch. it could be a cup of soup and a and a piece of fruit, or uh, maybe <clears throat> just a salad with salad leaves and salad tomatoes leaves. and. The odd, the salads we see, some of the dishes we see, gosh, you think, gosh, that must be, it must be a hole in your dish or fill a hole. I don't know, wouldn't fill a hole in your tooth. But sometimes it's a bit alarming to see the sort of lunches that 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 people will have, and you know, it's a light lunch because we're on a diet, and so you know, your brain really can rebel. And it's a very rebellious thing sometimes. Well, it's not really. Uh, but you know, whenever you put this challenge on your body of lower ca calories, you're sort of maybe thinking about um, cutting down your calories, cutting down on fat. And your brain sort of says, Whoa, oh, alarms. What is going on here? Uh, the fuel source has just been cut maybe in half. Uh, and now the brain responds uh, it doesn't fall out with you. It just responds by saying, okay, uh, we've got far fewer calories here. We've got a lot less fat. So I'm not going to be able to absorb all the nutrients that I would have. And I'm going to be down in nutrients anyway, because we've cut back on the calories. So as a result, uh, the brain reduces the expenditure of energy. And in that, as a result, your metabolism gets much slower. You know, your body, there's so many things that happen in your body that need energy from the very, you know, pumping of the blood around the body to the, uh, you know, to the breathing all the time. Um, and so our metabolism is just kind of one aspect of everything that's happening in the body. So when you reduce that energy and you cut it down and your energy takes a well, a big head dive. <laughs> you know, it dives down, and the problem then is, as soon as you go back to going off the diet and eating the foods you used to eat, because maybe you've hit roughly the target you want to get to, or you've just decided that it's got too hard, and you go <clears> back to eating the things you used to eat, because your metabolism has slowed up, you have made your body in a place where it is ripe to put on uh, more weight. And very often, so many people will have experienced this faster than ever before. The weight seems to pile back on and very often a little bit more than what you've lost. And so that's never a good thing because you go to all this trouble of uh, giving your best effort and losing weight and then before you know where you are it's like gosh a few months later maybe not even a few months later that weight's all gone back on again and it's like my goodness uh, what was the point in all of that so uh, it can be rather a disappointing yo-yo uh, dieting type thing and so one of the <laughs> things that happens you know when we focus it's not just about the reduced calories when we focus on eating lower calories reducing our fat what also happens is we end up reducing the nutrition that our body gets. And you know, nutrition is something your body is actively looking for everything that it needs. It needs its protein, it needs its natural fats, uh, it needs vitamins and minerals, it needs all of those things. And if it doesn't get it, your body says, hang on a minute here, I'm not getting everything I need. Uh, we must need more food. And so it sends out a signal to tell you that you need more. And so if you have a day where you really haven't had very much, your nutrition will be really low. You come in in the evening and your body's saying, I need more nutrition. And of course, we don't really hear the nutrition, but we just hear that I need more. The body is crying at you. Your brain is saying, you need to get more in here. And so that's why we start to eat all around us. We start to eat anything we can get our hands on, uh, but we very much end up 
finding that yes we've been okay through the day but then we definitely make up for it in the evening and it nearly seems as if you go a wee bit mad a wee bit crazy and it's like the cupboard doors <laughs> swung wide open and everything oh. that's in there is like oh I'll have some of that and some of that and some of that and you know any sense of control is just gone and it just disappears because uh, you're really uh, starving your body through the day not giving it the nutrients that it needs it can't absorb the uh the nutrition that it's that it's needing once you cut the fat down uh, you're really unable to absorb some of the nutrients that are critical to your body's working so all of that is not a happy mixture and uh, the cupboards can get emptied fairly <laughs> quickly but those are the foods that probably will get not be giving you any uh, nutrition and so it's like that vicious cycle until you're giving your body everything that it needs in the right amounts it will be craving and driving you to eat more um, and you know so often at this point where people start to blame their willpower they say why is it i can be so good during the day and i've just got no willpower when i come home in the evenings but when you start to understand why it's happening you know don't blame yourself for the lack of willpower let's start to look at what you can do to get more nutrition get more of what your body needs so that you don't have this craving and this uh, it's almost like a desperation sometimes that you have to get uh, some food in um, and so, you know, when ladies join us in our group, uh, the ladies that we work with, one of the things they'll say to us is, you know, I can't believe how, how much I'm eating. I can't believe, uh, you know, that, that I have to eat all of this. <laughs> is this, is really, this really right? right? I need to check in. Am I doing it right? Because I'm eating far more than I would be used to eating. And, you know, sometimes we have to really reassure uh, ladies because you know they've been starving themselves and been used to this night lunching thing and cutting down calories cutting out fat and all of that and so when they're eating the right things their body is so satisfied it's sort of it's like it's nearly that sense of oh what a sense of relief uh, I am now getting everything that I need and that really translates into uh, anxiety being less uh, the ladies feel much calmer as a result of that. They feel much better within themselves, just just in that basic way. So it's nearly whenever they start getting this food right, it's it's that we talk about it. The the calm descends, and everything is much easier. Then we can sort of settle into making lifestyle changes and working on habits because. All of this franticness of, am I doing it right? Am I getting it right? All, all of that stuff just goes and with it disappears things like hunger and cravings. All of those things disappear and everything is calmer. And you know, we've had a few of the ladies who've commented how their husbands have said how much they <laughs> love this. The new calm, <laughs> calm, calm <laughs> lady in the house. Office, huh? <laughs> so and even some of the good. teenage children have seemed to comment about it as well. So yeah. it is all good. Um, <laughs> But you know, if this is something uh, that you would like to discover for yourself, we have a free uh, two hour Supercharge Me Bootcamp and it really does explain about how you can heal that metabolism so that you can, uh, you know, it's really about healing your body again because when your body becomes healthier, then you start to get into shape. We often think of it the other way around. Let's get in shape, then we'll be healthier. No, let's get our bodies healthier, then we'll get into shape naturally. And it's a much easier and more sustainable way uh, to lose weight. Um, and you'll find that there's so many other positive aspects to that as well. So we have a free two hour Supercharge Me Bootcamp to explain everything. And uh, we'll pop the link <clears throat> in this post. And, um, and just to say, there isn't any <laughs> exercise in the boot camp. Oh yes, in the boot camp. No exercise in the boot camp. You won't have to be asked for your credit card, t card details or anything like that. Uh, but it will definitely show you how to start supercharging your body so that you're full of energy. Uh, you can start losing hunger and cravings and really look after your body in a way that it will then look after you much better. <laughs> so we'll pop the link in the post and uh, feel free to do the free <laughs> to our boot camp and you'll start to understand how to make those changes for yourself okay hope that helps have a fabulous day and we'll catch up with you soon have a great day bye, bye for now